So today we're going to go over how to change a cinch chain ring on a raised face crank. All right, so I'm going to put a new chain ring on. In this case, just because it's a little worn, but you might be changing the gearing or just putting a different, you know, brand, a different color or whatnot of the chain ring. You'll notice the chain ring is not exactly flat. Letters, of course, are going to go out. This is going to give you that slight bend inward. In this case, this is a boost bike with a three degree offset. So first of all, of course, we've got to take that crank out. And to do that, we need an eight millimeter hex to remove the bolt. Make sure you don't pinch your finger there. You can remove the pedal if you want. You don't have to. All right. So of course, take the bolt out. I released the clutch from my derailleur back there. <laughs> so I can take the chain off and very carefully just place it there all right and the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a crank extractor okay and this in this case this is the park cwp7 <clears throat> make sure it's the correct one this one is reversible you can use the small tip there in this case you're going to use the bigger ring so that you can push that crank out. So what I do is I, you know, if you try, <laughs> I've seen on Amazon reviews that it doesn't work or they messed up their threads because they'll have it like that, try to thread it in. It'll only catch a couple of threads and when they do the puller, it tears the threads right out of the crank arm. So make sure you have that back behind the threads so that you can thread that all the way in to the crank arm, okay? They are very fine threads, so make sure you don't cross thread them. So now, see how far in that goes? That's not gonna mess up my threads. If I had it in, I couldn't crank it in all the way and I would have been in trouble. Could have messed up my crank arm, so don't make that mistake. So now once I have that screwed in, now we're gonna tighten the actual push rod here and that's gonna pull the crank arm out and wow that was uh hopefully it was just that it was nicely greased because it came out so easily and i had it tight you saw me struggling with the uh, there we go with the actual bolt that's on there so the other thing i do is i also back it up before i release it and that's the other thing some people you know, you don't have to like super tighten that. You see that? I can remove it with my hands as long as you have all the threads in, okay? So it's that easy. So that's out. Now we have to remove that ring so that we can remove the chain ring itself. So to remove that ring there, that lock ring, we're actually going to use a bottom bracket tool. This is a tool that's used for Shimano sealed tapered square bottom brackets okay in this case it's a leafu <laughs> but it's a bottom bracket tool and i'll put like the part tool equivalent in the description so this fits right in there and then we can using a ratchet or a breaker bar we can go ahead and remove that chain or not the chain ring but the actual lock ring and that is a standard thread it's going to go counterclockwise for removal so now the other tools i'm going to need is a breaker bar or a ratchet to go onto your tool here your bottom bracket tool and then when you put it back on you're going to need a torque wrench set to 30 foot pounds or 40 newton meters so this little workmate bench i love because 
Got a little groove there that I can put the crank set into. The ring goes right into that little groove and there we go. All right, now note that there is a little notch there, a little indentation that is going to line up with your crank arm here all right so a little notch lines up with the crank arm good idea to go ahead and clean this real nice right now i'll go ahead and do that off camera real quick and so i went ahead and gave this a good cleaning i cleaned the threads got some a little bit of grit that was in there out cleaned the lock ring gave it a little dab of grease on the threads right there you don't want to put too much grease on this because again it'll attract dirt and grime i make sure my little notch there lines up with the crank arm all right right there nice and lined up very thin threads on this and they are aluminum so hand tighten these or hand start them very carefully you do not want to cross thread this okay there we go make sure it goes in very easily okay all right so right there went in very easy there we go I'll hand tighten it for now then I'm gonna take my torque wrench and I have it set to 30 foot pounds okay and we're gonna tighten it all right i'm gonna turn it around the other way because it's just easier even though you can't see it it's still the same thing all right i'm left-handed <laughs> so we're gonna set it there and tighten until it clicks and right there so let's try it again yep so that is 30 foot pounds. New chain ring. Now we have to mount this. Way over here, I went ahead and cleaned around the spindle. Um, cleaned this, took a little bit of grit out of there. Make sure it has an asymmetric red ring that goes towards the bike. It also has a little lip right there that goes towards the bike. So it goes like that now it's just a matter of putting our crank arm back on i put a little bit of grease on those splines also and all right make sure you don't have them both facing the same way <laughs> kind of kidding but who knows make sure that one's up and one's down All right, so the bolt's in there, nice and tight. There we go. All we got to do is put the chain back on. And new chain ring, that fast. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe if you want to see some of my other videos. As always, thanks for watching.